what is up guys this is your boy combs i am here with trevor for another marvel strike force video what is up man what's up dude what where did that beard go dude it fell off when i was sleeping where did it go how long Found did it take it on the for floor. you to grow that man uh about a year and a half i guess yeah i'm i'm envious i haven't shaved in like four days and just look at my skin right now man that's about as much as i can get that's okay. We're all good at different things. You're, you're a great person. So, don't <laughs> facial worry. hair is not my thing. Yeah, it's okay. It's not all it's cracked up to be. So you get food in it a lot. It's kind of gross, but also, you know, <laughs> never thought of that. Beards are great. I'm not trying to talk you out of it. I'm just trying to make you feel better. Anyways, so guys, today we're going to be talking about uh, these Cree reworks. I know that Trevor's talked about it on his channel, and a few other people have. I have not had the chance to give my opinion on them yet, so I wanted to do that because I haven't. I actually haven't even really looked at them. Life has been crazy. They're getting a rework. Pretty much like a broad overview of this is that they're getting a rework, and there's going to be a lot more healing going around, and it's going to be a lot of it just based on the energy that is granted, mm -hmm. which we all know they grant a lot of energy, right? Mm -hmm. On their basics, so, absolutely. Yeah, and so it's just like, if you're able to heal on your basic, that's amazing. But I guess the only issue that it might have is that it might be totally random since the energy just kind of goes to whoever, you know what I mean? Have you thought about that at all? Yeah, I mean, I, I got to say, firstly, uh, I'm really glad that they're reworking not only the Kree minions because they're required for Nick Fury and a lot of people dumped a lot of resources to get them and it seemed like a big waste because they were truly horrible. And then Ronan, along with Iron Fist after Global Launch, was kind of accepted to be like the worst characters in the game. And Blitz, you know, you'd always target Ronan because he was just terrible, useless, like he hurt the team and his day has come and the way that I'm seeing this is it looks like it's going to be a good raid team. You know, if it's healing and energy, you know, any kind of sustainability, it looks like there's going to be like two, maybe three or even four different ways of healing on this team. I mean, that's the way it looks to me, right? Yeah. 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 So that's what I'm saying. So he's getting a stat boost and then his second ability is changing to a summon ability, which I really think that like is like low key under the radar, like still like the most OP ability that you can have. Mm hmm. And so that's pretty cool. They're doing that. He's going to be able to summon a Reaper and a Noble, which is interesting because I think that they're probably, I mean, the Reaper is definitely doing the most damage now. Mm -hmm. Like Reaper was doing the most damage already, but mm -hmm. definitely doing the most damage now after these reworks. So that's cool that he's doing that. And then Noble can uh, clear negative side effects off of allies. So that seems pretty good to me too. I mean, what does it say about Ronan that, that he summons the women? Oh, well, I mean, all it says is that Ronan respects women. There you go. Because he wants them to be equal on the battlefield. Yeah, he's got that hammer. Oh, boy. He's not going to heal on his uh, second special anymore. It's all right. Just going to raise the hammer, call the women, mm -hmm. and they're going to go to battle. After that, you can see his, uh, his ultimate ability, which was very inconsistent, would just randomly put ability block on people it's right. now going to apply uh two turns to the primary target instead of to everybody first of all this thing had like the most epic animation before and it did nothing like it was just like whoa this looks so cool and nothing happened uh yeah. but if if he is slower than let's say hand sentry uh mm -hmm. this is useless so and then the last thing with ronin that's pretty cool is that his basic ability is going to dispel stuff mm -hmm. um and that's pretty awesome and they specify here that he first removes the positive effect and then inflicts damage which i feel like is an important specification yeah and as far as team composition they've kind of suggested that ronin is going to be a staple you know not optional i didn't perceive that he i mean he's going to be like the nick fury of the kree right Moving on, uh, we have uh, Kree Cyborg also getting some stuff going. I don't know. I mean, they didn't really change a whole lot with him. They just basically made it so on a kill, he will chain to additional targets and he can grant offense up to himself and another ally when an enemy taunts. And then he's going to have a little extra speed. Seems pretty generic. As far as I can read, he's probably going to be the character that might get left out of the team. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? 100% agree. This is, I mean, of course, we're speculating, right? We don't really know. But as no. far as the kit reads, this looks the least appealing. We haven't even talked about Korath. And plus, Korath is going to be in the movie, so we'll see. But Korath's kit has always been pretty good. Yeah, I think Korath's kit is pretty good. And I think that, like, he could find a space on this team. I'm not mm -hmm. sure who he would replace just yet since we can't test this stuff. But 
I mean, I assume that he's going to have synergy with Ronin and these other Kree, mm -hmm. but I guess we don't know until it happens, right? Sure. Royal Guard, he's basically just going to get um, better stats, and um, he's going to get more healing if Ronin's on the team. I don't know. Who knows what that's going to look like? There's no percentages. Uh, in the beta, he used to heal like almost his full health bar every time he would taunt, and he would mm -hmm. like taunt every turn. He was crazy in beta, and then they changed him, and now they're changing him again. I don't know. Whatever. They can't make up their mind. So it's also going to grant defense up to everybody, Oof. and that's nice. You yeah, know, that's like the most annoying thing to play against. So then he's also going to grant energy while taunting. So that'll put out healing. And that'll be good. More energy, more abilities, more healing. Sounds great. This this right here reads like an auto include. One hundred percent. He seems like he is like guaranteed has to be in there. So like Ronin, Royal Guard, and whoever else. Cree Reaper. She's already awesome. She already hits like a truck if you have her leveled up. Good. Um, it sounds like uh, now. She's going to be able to 100% heal block. That'll be awesome. That will help against Nick Fury teams, I feel like, because they just heal mm -hmm. all the time. So even if you just use that on one person, that'll be good to go. Um, they're also making it so she deals more damage with that ability. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Um, that'll, you know, that could potentially, we could see that as like one-shotting people. That would be pretty sick. This does look like an optional character, you know, where, you know, if you had to make a decision between Reaper and let's say Korath, who knows, uh, you know, it looks like they kind of do a lot of the same thing, but mm -hmm. also the Reaper is summonable. That's even a word by Ron Ronin. She's also going to be able to cause people to bleed on her basic. So that's Oof. amazing too. So even if that's just on a summon, you can just like hit them and call them to bleed. And that's just nice. All right. So Cree Noble, um, super good. I really like her assist ability. It does big damage. Usually knocks, uh, it could knock somebody out or at least take them like halfway down. That's pretty big. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not going to heal anymore, but it is going to remove negative status effects. And, um, so it used to be random, but now it calls adjacent allies Oof. or one of her adjacent allies. So you could pick who you want her to call to assist. I don't know if you can pick, but team placement, definitely. If you put Cree Noble in the corner, it's going to kind of force the assist one, the, the one that's adjacent to her, right? Yeah, so you have some control over it is what I'm getting at. So that's pretty cool. Um, her basic ability is going to clear positive effects, mm -hmm. and that's going to be just like Ronin. So now they're both, they've got two people who on their basics clear positive effects. I think that's kind of teams, a big deal. I don't know. I feel like a lot of teams don't really have a way to clear stuff, and that's one of the biggest problems with most of the, I guess, like C and B rate teams. Right. So, well, I and I, I don't think people have realized the, the impact of how important it is to be able to cleanse your own team. And we're talking about like an effect that Jessica Jones has or now the rework Groot. If the game goes in a direction where negative status effects with Carnage become king, uh, then, you know, there's going to need to be situations with hard counters. And cleansing is a very important mechanic if the opposing team is solely based off of issuing out negative status effects so we will see yeah so i think it could be cool i think it could be good now do i think that the, the kree team is going to be meta in arena no of course not at least not unless this is a crazier like stat boost than we think but so i mean it, it just it makes them better it makes them a better raid team it makes them a better blitz team so i i can dig it before we move on it also mentions right here it says heal healing for the kree team will now be split between ronin oracle and the soon to be released hero and i guess i overlooked that it said hero uh that does seem like captain marvel who technically is kree but you can you imagine captain marvel you know what i mean playing on a kree team i mean would that make sense or would they do that you know <sighs> It's hard to say because it's like you would think that she'd probably fit into an Avengers team. Right. But we haven't seen the movie yet. And I'm sure that there's people out there who are like pulling their hair out like, how do you guys not know this? But I don't know. I just think that, I mean, maybe she'll have both tags. Maybe she'll have Avenger and Kree. Okay. Interesting. I don't know. Who knows? But, or maybe she'll synergize with Korath or Ronin or whatever, you know, I guess there's no real way to know, but... I assume that that is who they're talking about when they say soon to be released hero because they didn't say villain. Right. So, I, I the first two times I read this post, I, I thought it might be someone else. You know, maybe like mm -hmm. uh, Minerva or something like that. Who I don't know who that is, but uh, now that I read that again, I mean they're going to come out with her and 
maybe two other characters from the movie. So they're not going to come out with like six characters. But, you know, right. so Captain Marvel for sure. I mean, they've every movie that's come out, they've come out with uh, the lead character. So we'll see, right? Right. We will see. I think that's the whole thing (laughs) that we unfortunately have to like wait and see with all of this stuff is that we can say, wow, this looks awesome. This looks great. And it's like, well, I mean, at the end of the day, we have to wait and see. Moving on to the next thing is Cree Oracle. And if you've ever played Cree, you know that Cree Oracle is by far one of the most useless characters in the game. Um, But it looks like they're making it so he has more max health, which means his regenerations are going to heal for more. They're also giving him extra regenerations on a Kree team. They're making it so his passive ability is going to heal whenever anybody receives energy. Mm-hmm. And that's amazing. And that is the interesting thing that I'm looking at here. I don't know if it matters, but the interesting thing that I'm also just noticing is that it's saying that it's going to heal them an extra amount if they're Kree. So I guess that that will count for anybody. So, you know, I'm this is a crazy thought that I'm just having, but like, what if you just decided for some reason to put Cree Oracle in a defenders team and like Jessica Jones, it's like they send energy all over the place. Like would right. they heal each time? I don't know. It'd be interesting to see though, you know? Yeah, it hurts. It's hard to say, you know, what team is going to be the best or how that's going to play out. But typically the, the named characters versus the villains are better. So let's say Koreth, Ronin, Captain Marvel, mm-hmm. uh, definitely royal guard and kree norm noble look the most interesting on paper i agree with that um and we'll we'll just have to see because i guess the other ones just kind of seem like like we've been saying like good but just like easily replaceable because there's nothing special it's good but it's not special and my prediction is that the the character that is unnamed in this article will be amazing and will make the team work and the team will probably be okay without that character. I mean, that'd be a good business plan, in my opinion. Yeah, makes sense to me, because then if people want to take the team <laughs> to the next level, they can spend money. Look right. at that, money. Exactly. I mean, makes sense to me, and you know, but I'm fine with that. Like, they got to make money. I just hope they do it in a non-slimy way. Yeah, that, that, that to me is uh, a creative way of, of taking my money. I actually like that myself i don't know how to explain that it doesn't it seems like a good way of doing it anyways i'm getting off on a tangent i'm gonna start complaining about red stars then i'm gonna get negative comments it's it's over yeah it was definitely headed there (laughs) i was definitely my mind was going right towards red stars but anyways yeah that would that anyways enough said (laughs) i've already made six or seven videos about how much i dislike red stars and now it's it's fine it's whatever at this point I made like four in a row, and yeah. by the fourth one, people were like, "Can you talk about something else?" And I was like, "Well, I, guess I, I think I did know. like five in a row, or four, at least four in a row." My goodness. Basically, guys, what we're realizing is that you don't want us to talk about red stars anymore. Is that true? Leave a comment down below if you're tired of us talking about red stars. For Leave me, a like it's... on the video if you like red stars. Just kidding. Don't do that. Leave a like <laughs> on the video if you don't like red stars. I will be liking this video. Yeah, it's interesting. It's definitely leveled out, that's for sure. I mean, which I kind of predicted, but it, it's still so heavily yeah. weighted. But anyways. Yeah, that uh, that seven red star Nick Fury really has weighed out compared to my one red star Nick Fury in Arena. Mm. Very, very, mm. very balanced gameplay. Mm. Um, mm. Anyways, guys, um, that's going to be it. Um, me and Trevor just having a good time today. Uh, we made a really funny video on his channel. Make sure yeah. you check it out. I it will leave fun. a link to his channel in the description. Um, Trevor's awesome. You guys are awesome. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. We are super close to a thousand subscribers, and that is a huge milestone for me because I thought that my channel was never going to get anywhere. And so I'm really excited. Subscribe to the channel. Let's break that thousand mark. And uh, well, the if you don't, bright. if you don't know, a thousand subscribers is when uh, YouTube will consider uh, Josh here for a partnership. It's kind of a big deal. So it is. You know, it is a big deal. It is. So guys, you know what you have to do. Just do it. Nike. All right. I'm more of an Adidas man. Okay. Well, I just said Nike and dabbed, so you can't really say anything back to me. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, Peace out. Hug your mom. High five your dad. Tell your friends you love them. Yeah.